to go to a certain shop. Yes, I know it's crazy to go almost two hours to go to a store to shop at. But I grew up with Christmas tree shops. If y'all know, they're like the best shop to go shopping at. And it's their friends and family weekend going on this weekend where you get 20% off your purchase of like 25 or more or something. Anyways, I wanted to go because we're about to soon move into our house in the next, let's just say month hopefully, a couple weeks, month probably. And we just had a yard sale yesterday, sold a bunch of stuff and some furniture that we don't want anymore, some furniture that was like really beat up and that kind of stuff. And I wanted to go to Christmas tree shops to look at their furniture. Trust me, doesn't matter how beat up it is, how destroyed, how bad. People buy it. Legs fall off, people will just give you money for it. We had two wicker chairs mm -hmm. that the, the seats were totally busted, busted. out and the, the mechanism, the metal mechanisms were rusting that they were about ready to fall apart. And <laughs> People bought them. Yep. And I was like, make sure you lift the cushions because the cushions will show you like, like it's hiding, like it's deceptive. Cause like you can still technically sit on them, but like- As long as the cushions are on. As long as the cushions are on. But eventually that like is going to not work. We did pretty well at the yard sale actually yesterday and he was good luck because the last couple times that I've had yard sales on my own, not done so well. Brad being home definitely helped me. So that's not the only reason we're going shopping, but the it feels it felt good to get rid of a lot of like bigger pieces that like we no longer need. Yeah, I thought we got rid of all that stuff when we moved here. I know, right? First time. Well, we did get rid of a lot of stuff in Georgia though. Like a lot of stuff that was like And now we move moving into a house that's twice the size. Yeah. Yeah. So anyways, um, I have been a huge fan of Christmas tree shops, like I said, for years and years. Because our family grew up going to Cape Cod when my great aunt Lois was still around. And she would rent a beach house up there and we would go. And we would go Thanksgiving, like Christmas shopping, like up there as well. We would literally make a trip out of it. But anyway, sidetrack. So they have like really inexpensive furniture. And from my experience, like I've had things for like 15 years and it still looks good as new. And to me, like the quality may not be like the best compared to buying place, like some place like, I don't know, Ashley Home Furniture. What's that place called? Ashley's? Yeah, Ashley's. Or something like Rooms to Go or something like that. Or Haverty's or whatever. But it's inexpensive looks great and the quality for me has been great so we're looking for a few new accent tables I'm looking for like an accent table to go along the one side of our sectional and also like maybe a small little accent table for our little like corner that is technically the dining room but we're gonna make it into a seating area so that's the goal of today because of a coupon going out right now. It's 20% off. You guys know I love a good deal. So whatever else we can find for the house too. Uh, don't really have any else. Don't have anything other. What was I trying to say? I don't have anything else specific as far as like what we're looking for for the house. It's just we're, I'm really hoping they have a good selection of some accent tables for the house. That's my main goal. And yeah, we just stopped at the Donut King here in like Claremont, which I'll show you. Oh my goodness, we haven't had these donuts in like a year. We made our first stop of the day. Came to Donut King, haven't been here in like a year. And yay. <laughs> May of uh, last year. Yeah. So we got a coconut custard thing with, that's, uh, to that's be messy. Home. Yeah, and I a cronut. That. We got so many. <laughs> you want to smell barbecue? Yeah. And that place. And then these. We got a dozen. Oh, we got so much. Of course, so much coconut because we love coconut. 
and strawberry frosted. We got regular cream, chocolate cream. I have no idea, I have no idea, but just gonna eat the frosted one because it's less messy, but cheers for breakfast. <laughs> we each just had one for breakfast, which is delicious. And now we have about like another- Show more land Oh yeah, it's up here. Uh, what about 40 minutes you said? 30 minutes. 32 minutes still to go. So it's almost like I said, it's just under two hours to get to the Christmas tree shops that is close by us. But by the way, and I know I'm rambling on, Oh my goodness, found out from Brad two days ago. Yeah, it was Friday. Brad read an article that Christmas tree shops was bought by like a husband and wife recently. An investment company. An investment company, yeah. And I'm so excited, fingers crossed, Christmas tree shops, which I know you're not gonna watch this, but if you do, please bring one to the Tampa area or somewhere closer than here, like on the east on the east side of Orlando in Altamonte Springs and that's where we're going um Altamonte Springs and it's like an hour and 47 minutes away uh because recently Christmas tree shops when they were owned by like the Bed Bath and Beyond people whatever that corporation is they stopped opening stores and uh, we need one here in like the west coast of Florida and I just pray that we get one just because I'd be there like every week. Brad knows that. <laughs> or the end that. Oh. Yeah, or even one of the end that stores, which because is smaller. They also, they also bought them. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just really hoping that we get one because ever since Brad and I have been together, he knows that it's a thing and he likes going there too. And so, anywho, I'm just excited that they are eventually going to do new stores and I guess they're going to test out certain areas with pop-up shops too which is super exciting so maybe we at least get like a pop-up shop but because Tampa is growing so fast like it's one of like the highest like places to move in like the US right now like it, the markets on fire I'm hoping that maybe we'll get one in the next couple years or so or less <laughs> and we shall see so bring you guys along today for our little road trip of the day adventure it's gorgeous out and it's a beautiful fall day here in florida and fingers crossed we can find some accent pieces for the house and maybe find some other little decor pieces but that's not really on my agenda i'm really looking for the tables and stuff so fingers crossed we'll see you guys in a bit at christmas tree shops so yeah, we're just north of Disney. If you guys are familiar, this is Claremont, and we've showed you guys this before, but it's been a while. And uh, it's a really pretty area. There's lots of really big yeah, lakes. Yeah, big lake. Yeah, there's lots of really, really big lakes here in Central Florida. There's really big houses in there too. <laughs> yeah. Um, What's that gonna be? Looks like a dealership. Looks like a dealership, yeah. Uh, but this is like the rolling hills part of Florida just like the Dade City is like closer to us and It's just a really pretty area Yeah, anyways We'll see you guys in a little bit We made it we made it it's just right down here on the right next to Ross and there's also a Burlington here Oh, it's definitely a friends and family weekend. It's busy. They've only been open for an hour and a half. Yay, Christmas tree shops. <laughs>
We did some damage. I found the tables I was looking for and one extra, so I'm very happy. Yay! Um, scored on some really cute lamps that are coastal theme, right? We found the perfect shades for them too. We had a, we had a search for the second one because we needed two because I got two matching ones and we found one. They were literally the last two to go with it too. So, Because it's basically a buy the lamp itself and then pick your own shade kind of thing. Um, found the tables that I wanted, I think I said, on the way out. And I got one more table, which I'm not quite sure where to put it. But I think I have an idea. I just figured since it's a good deal. And I like wasting money. <laughs> It was a good deal, so I was just like, yeah, we gotta get it. Because the tables that I got were like $39.99, but then, of course, we got 20% off, so, yeah. Basically, the table that I got, that I wasn't sure if I was gonna get, uh, we basically got that for free because of the discount for everything that we got. So, we'll do a haul when we get home, for sure. And, yeah, we'll have made the trip. I'm glad they had at least the two tables that I was looking for because I want to use them for like our sofa on the one side of the sectional. So I've been searching high and low for like a long enough table, but they're like super expensive and y'all know that I love a good deal. So the closest one that I found was at Hobby Lobby, which was like 150 I think, with all the discounts that they offer on their furniture. And it's a little bit like deeper but it's not as wide as it would be putting these two tables together. So I'm sacrificing a little bit of space this way, um, depth wise, but in the end, it's gonna be longer across the one side of the sectionals. So I think it will look nice. Not sure if we're gonna stop anywhere else on the way home. If we do. Nice to get some to eat. Oh, okay. It's your lunch time, isn't it? One yeah, it is one o'clock, it's 12.57. It's not very nutritious. But delicious. It is so, yes. <laughs> All right, we are headed to Fred's Market. We've been here a couple times. This is our second time at this location here in Lakeland. Packed and stacked. It is, yeah. Uh, but we've been to the one in... Maybe everybody went to the hair shanty. <laughs> we've been to the one um, that's closer to us a couple of times too, but... It's definitely good food, so we're gonna enjoy our sales. That's where we are, Fred's Market. Hey guys, we just got back home and I need to sit down and prop up my legs. Um, I will do the haul probably tomorrow and just add it to the video but all right this is my impromptu haul from Christmas tree shops yesterday sorry if y'all can hear uh, somebody's mowing their grass but I found these two really cool plastic Christmas trees they were $4.99 each I thought it would go great in the gathering room for my coastal beach theme Christmas decor. So I actually got two of these cool lamps. They were a little bit pricier than I wanted to spend. Brad and I both really liked them. So they were $17.99 for the lamps. I got two of them. Did I say that already? <laughs> and then we found these lampshades to go with them. They were $7.99 each. I really liked the bigger lamp that I recently saw at Kirkland's, but this was definitely a less expensive version. This is the other little Christmas item that I found. It's really cute. It's a Christmas tree, obviously, with a starfish, and then it's sand dollars all the way around, and it has a little bit of glitter on it. This was $6.99, thought it was adorable had to bring that home with me as well. All right, there's sort of a glare. I will try to insert an actual picture of the color of this table. Um, I picked up two of these. I want to use them side by side along our sectional in the living room 
great room area. And these were $39.99 each. Brad's not here right now, so I can't show you the third one because I can't lift these by myself right now. I'll insert a picture of the other table that I got. I was so happy that they had them and that they had two because it was Sunday and I was worried since the 20% had been going on for a while, I wasn't sure if I was going to get that exact table that I wanted. And I did. So yay. So that's everything. I'm going to take those couple of bags and put them away eventually this week. I'm probably just going to leave the lampshades as is because it's just silly to put them in a box, but I want to make sure the lamps and the other Christmas stuff don't break. So I hope you liked seeing what we got from Christmas tree shops. But for now, I'm going to end it and call it a day. Um, definitely have a busy couple weeks coming up because I didn't really film anything when we went to the house, but we drove by the house today to see if the trim got put up on the bigger garage door, and it is maybe I'll insert the picture that I took. You can see the final picture of the house. Like, that's just so exciting. Um, so yeah, happy to see that and excited for our walk on Wednesday. And yeah, it's just gonna be a busy couple weeks. Um, getting the last bits of pieces boxed up and just gone through. Need to probably make like two trips to, well, maybe one trip, it's probably one trip, to Salvation Army to drop off the stuff that didn't sell at the yard sale, and that's about it. But yeah, thanks for coming with us on today's little adventure to Christmas tree shops and to Donut King, and we're both so full from our lunch slash uh, dinner at Fred's Market too. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing some of the things that we purchased for the house. I feel like we got some really good deals. Excited to put them together and um, see them in the, in the new house too. So the next vlog will probably be our walk, blue tape walk on Wednesday. We'll see you guys then.